Hey everybody, this is Cordelia with Scanner Society, and this is a video in my series called Business Builders. This is uh, advice, tips, and strategies for business owners of any kind of business, not just e-commerce. So today's topic is don't outsource. Um, why is that? You people hear all the time, you're growing a business, you're doing great. Um, you should outsource so that you can work on your most money-making strategies. And I, I don't necessarily totally disagree with that, but my experience is that a lot of people make some really key mistakes when they're outsourcing. And so I wanted to cover a few of those specifically today. So don't outsource stuff you don't understand. And this goes against what a lot of people will tell you. If you don't understand search engine optimization, if you don't understand Facebook marketing, if you don't understand bookkeeping, if you don't understand any process in your business when you're, say, in the first five years of the business, if you do not understand it, it's very hard to outsource it without way overpaying for what you're getting. So let's talk about some of the common things I see people outsource. One of the things I see people wanna outsource is things like writing their website, designing their website, uh, um, social media. Um, those are some really co common areas people will try to outsource. So here's the thing. <laughs> Um, a lot of the process of creating, say, your web content or your social media content, it forces you to truly communicate with your customers and understand your own business. And so um, when you try to outsource that, nobody else can do that. They don't understand your customer. Well, frequently by the time you've taken the time to truly adequately explain who you are, you might as well have just done it yourself. Um, I can almost always tell 100% when somebody's outsourced their social media. Instagram, for example, you can tell because there's no personality in the picture. Same with Facebook. Um, nobody, there's no human being there. Or maybe the human is just a lackey. They're not really invested in the business. Now, there are ways to outsource these things when you're a little further along in your business, but you need to make sure that you're still connecting the personality of your business with your customer and that you're still hearing at your customer. That's just an example. But outsourcing stuff you don't understand, you have no way to, number one, know who to hire. 10 people could tell you they're SEO experts and you wouldn't know how to evaluate which one knows about what you need because SEO is such a broad topic, it means a million different things. So if you don't understand it, you can't pick the right person, business provider, because you don't really know what you need, right? Number two, you don't know how much it's worth. Now, every business owner thinks their time is precious, and it is. Time is always precious, but sometimes it's less precious than you think. <laughs> so, for example, if a task takes you two hours a week to do, and you're paying $1,000 a month for it, then you're overpaying unless your billable rate is $200 an hour and you're actually giving up two hours of work a week to do that. <laughs> and that's the big thing, is that if, you're, if this task takes you two hours a week, and you have to say no to somebody who's gonna write you a check for more money than what that thing costs, at that point you should outsource it, but not until then. If you can squeeze that two hours in and still get all your other stuff done, then you should not outsource it. Um, once you truly understand the process, once you know it backwards and forwards and you really understand it, um, or you know, kind of going back to my SEO example, you understand at least enough of it to know really what you need. We need more conversions, we need more lead captures, we need more video views, we need more comments on our videos. We need to know what blog posts will, cre will create better engagement. That, that's different than I need an SEO person, which those are all part of SEO. And there's a million other things that are part of SEO too. So don't outsource stuff that you don't understand. Number two, don't outsource stuff when you're broke. <laughs> um, I also hear people all the time talk about how valuable their time is when they're broke. 
because they want their time to be valuable. It's that whole thing, fake it till you make it like, well, I want to be making a million dollars and so I'm gonna act like I'm making a million dollars. Or maybe they follow a guru or a mentor who is not broke. So that person outsources a bunch of stuff because they, they're much further along in their business. But if you're broke, then you can't afford to outsource stuff. Your time is better spent learning how to do a website than paying somebody to do your website. I don't care what your business is. I don't care if you're a personal trainer or a life coach or a gymnast. If you're broke, your time is better spent learning how to do a website. So that's my opinion. You can take it or leave it. But I think a lot of people will tell you to outsource stuff that isn't your, it's not in your wheelhouse. It's not your favorite thing. But when you're an entrepreneur, when you're starting a business or launching a business or running a successful business, you do have to do some stuff you don't like. And that's uncomfortable to you. Um, and so the other thing is that let's go to the website example. Um, let's say that you're like, okay, I need this kind of website. I'm going to do this kind of website. I'm going to do it myself because I'm broke. Um, and you get really like 80% done. And there's just like three things you cannot figure out. No matter how hard you've worked on it all Friday night, you, you just can't think of it. You've asked your friends. Your friends can't help you. At that point, it will cost you a lot less to hire a technical person who exactly knows how to answer those three questions than a provider to do your whole website for you. So let's say you're like, oh my God, I, I can't get this post to share on Facebook from my blog. Well, then you can, you can, you can hire a, an IT person and say, okay, I need like, how much of your time would it take you for you to solve this problem for me and explain to me how to do it? Maybe like two hours. You're like, how much is your hourly rate? It's $100 an hour. So it costs you $200 to get that really specific targeted help versus $5,000 for the whole website. So just using that as an example, do not outsource when you're broke, do as much of it as you can yourself, and then just get really specific, targeted, laser-focused help for exactly the thing you need help with. Plus, if you need help with a really specific technical thing, you might actually get better help if you only ask for somebody to help you with that thing versus the whole big picture website. That $100, $150 an hour person, probably isn't going to, their, their websites are 20,000, but you can get that person to answer your two questions. Um, and um, use a tool like Zoom or Skype when you're asking these questions, um, because you can record the answers, and then later when you forget what they said, you can replay it. So if you are hiring somebody to give you a like help you with a technical problem, record it, record it, record it, um, so that you can watch it later when you forget what they said. Um, and the third thing that you should not outsource is your books, bookkeeping. And this is another one where I am going against the grain here. You should not outsource your bookkeeping until at least the second or third year of your business. Um, the reason is because the discipline of learning how to keep your own books will teach you about your business. Are you making money? Where are you wasting money? Where is stuff just not making sense? It's not adding up. And again, if you need to hire like a bookkeeper or an accountant to answer a few questions, help you set up a process, I don't know how to use QuickBooks, whatever, that's different than do it for me. Um, so I strongly suggest you do not outsource bookkeeping for the first two years at least um, because it will force you to understand your business. And a lot of people hate bookkeeping <laughs> and they hate dealing with money and you have to get over that if you're going to be in business because um, businesses only work if you have money and money uh, is a fun thing to have. So you need to learn how to like managing it. And, you know, I do my books every month. Um, I don't love it. I put it off, but I know that if I don't do it, um, then people don't get paid, <laughs> including myself. I don't actually pay myself until I do my books. So it forces me to get my books done every month. And every month I learn something about my business from doing my books. So those are my three tips for stuff you should not outsource. Stuff you don't understand when you're broke and your books.
Please comment if you don't agree with me. I'd love to hear your things that you don't think you should outsource or that you do. And um, if you have questions about your business that I can help you with on future videos, put those in the comments as well. Thank you so much and let's all keep building our businesses.